All right, geometry. Chapter 5, Section 1, we're going to be looking at bisectors of triangles. Um, keywords, obviously, we're going to be dealing with three-sided shapes, the triangles. And we're looking at bisectors, which are going to be segments that are going to cut things into equal pieces. We might be cutting angles into two, angle pe two equal pieces, excuse me, as I stumble on my words. And we might be cutting sides into two equal pieces. So just a couple of different examples we'll get to here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to look at a perpendicular bisector right now. Again, perpendicular means it creates a 90 degree angle with the side that it's hitting. So CD is my perpendicular bisector, which means that cuts AD, uh, excuse me, that cuts AB into two equal pieces, AD and DB. All right, there's my bisector part. Now, the next section is just a little bit of writing, so we're going to talk about point C, okay? And we have a statement, which since we've been doing proofs, it's called a theorem. And this is a perpendicular bisector theorem, and it says this. It says, if a point is on the, and I'm going to use the symbol for perpendicular, which is the upside down T. If a point is on the perpendicular bisector, then it is equal distant. from the endpoints of the segment. Again, AB is our original segment. Let me finish that T there. AB is our original segment. So if this is a perpendicular bisector, it's telling us that AC and CB are congruent sides as well. So they may mark them with the double lines. Okay. So if a point is on the perpendicular bisector, then it is equal distant from the endpoints of the actual segment. And so that's a very basic, um, very basic form. Of that, let's look at one more. Okay, now let's look at the second one. Uh, you'll see we have an angle here is ABC. Um, I've constructed BD as the bisector, and so now there is another angle bisector theorem. It says if a point is on the bisector of an angle, Okay. If the point is on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the sides of the angle. Okay, I know that's a lot of writing, but again, let's, re let's recap just a little bit. If a point is on the bisector of an angle, which that's our point D right there, it's on the bisector, then that means it's equidistant from the sides of the angle. Remember that distance has to be drawn as a perpendicular, so that distance of DA is equal to that distance of DC, okay? point is on the bisector of an angle, it's equidistant from the sides. So if AD is 7, then CD is 7. Um, 
if AD is, let's say this is uh, 2x. Oh, let me get a good one here. Let me check the book. Okay, I kind of changed that one a little bit. It's going to be 3x plus 5 and 6x minus 7. So they might ask you to solve for x. So since we know those sides are congruent, we're going to take the 6x minus 7 and set it equal to 3x plus 5. So I would subtract 3x from both sides. And then I'm going to also add 7 in the same step. That gives us 3x equals 12 giving me an x value of 4. So when I substitute that back in, that's going to be 3 times 4 plus 5, which is 12 plus 5, so each side is 17. They might ask you what the x value is, and they might ask you to actually solve and tell what the side length is. So make sure that you know what they're asking. That's about six minutes, and we are done with Chapter 5, Section 1, bisectors of triangles.